<clears throat> Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor unto, unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And um, also a sincere Shalom to all the hopeful elect out there, the Bayaf Shaw the house of David, right into the Sequania Wa'akim, that the pushing is true forever you may be scattered. The true name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, which means he exists, he is to be. The true name of the son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the, del is the deliverer. All right? Now, this is from, this is an article from Bloomberg.com. It says, Cash crisis turns violent as protests erupt in Nigeria's Lagos. <clears throat> Excuse me. Says protests against <clears throat> Nigeria's deepening uh, cash crisis turned violent Friday, prompting police in Lagos to fire tear gas to the to disperse demonstrators days before the nation votes to elect a new president. So yeah, it's it's going down over there in uh, Nigeria, you know, and and you know pursuing the second address nine. This is a uh, uproars of the people in the world. You know the the money system over there is uh is is collapsing. The money is becoming useless. Okay, we should all know by now that that is just a step towards the MOP the MOTB of Revelation thirteen sixteen on down the Karagma. This is what this is leading up to, man. All right, <clears throat> it says. The country's central bank in October announced it would redesign 200 to 500,000 Naira notes. The move has led to a severe shortage of bills as people have been unable to get new notes after depositing their old denominations, man. <laughs> All right, so pretty much the money over there that people got is, is worthless because they changed over the new notes. Okay, so this is an omen. This is a sign of, of things to come. The money systems, and this is happening all over the world. We, a few years back, we saw it happen in Venezuela. Now it's happening in uh, Nigeria. It's going to happen all over the world. But, of course, these devils are doing it. You know, uh, gradually, the money systems are, are going to collapse. They're going to introduce uh, some form of vile metrics. And eventually, the MOTB system, okay, where they're going to have CHIP stations, and ultimately, that will be the new form of of currency. This is was this is what's actually happening, man. And these things are actually coming. You know, we in the year twenty twenty three, the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass, which all the round right is how they do. And Lord willing, we be of the elect and door to the end. You know, the move has led to a severe shortage of bills as people have been unable to get new notes after depositing their old denominations. The violence began in parts of Nigeria's biggest city after traders and petrol stations started rejecting 500 and 1,000 Naira notes. So they, so they aren't able to get things that they need like food, gas, and, and you know what? You're going to have a lot of people that are pissed off. And guess what? This is going to come to America too with your American dollar, man. Okay? Because other nations throughout the world, they're now doing deals with their own currency besides the American dollar. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, it says, Agents France Press reported President Muhammadu Buhari on Thursday asked residents to return the high-value notes at central bank offices and design points while allowing the 200 Naira bills to remain in circulation until... April 10th, right? The protesters are said to be angry over the Naira redesign and its consequent scarcity that have caused so much hardship and confusion among our people. The Lagos state government said in a statement, Governor Baba Jidi Sanwu Olu is working with his colleagues to ensure that this hardship does not go on according to the statement. People were seen burning tires to block roads, according to AFP, while the punch 
tweeted a video of Crowell stronging the Central Bank of Nigeria office in Lagos, man. So, yeah, the, just like the scripture says, man, which I'm going to play this. This is, uh, you know, you can find it on Twitter, you know, which I'm going to go to. Beseech CB in Lagos office to deposit old narrow notes. So now you know people are panicking. They rush into the to the fucking uh, office over there, the banks or whatever, to deposit their notes so they can get new notes so they can, you know, get the bare necessities that they need: food, clothing, water, shelter, gas, medicine. So it's all it's other chaos over there, man. Okay, there's, there's uproars of the people, man. And the people are all mourning. This is their form of mourning. purposes or whatever you know? look up protests in Lagos <clears throat> three days ago against protests well that's actually from uh, I believe 2005 or whatever let's see it says my Lagos people what's the current situation in your area let's try to report in real time as to keep people safe here in Awo yeah yeah it's still safe, but the protest is building up. All right. First bank. <clears throat> so, yeah. Two days ago, breaking news. Amber News Live. Heavy protests in different parts of Lagos as use block. As use block roads attack banks and burn tires over Naira and food scarcity. Happening right now in Oki Koti area, Lagos State, due to narrow scarcity. This is Oki Koti right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is Oki Koti right now. We are live at Oki Koti due to this issue of narrow policy. It says, <clears throat> this is from Punch Newspapers. New Naira protesters block Lagos Expressway. In a video posted on Tuesday, protesters were seen blocking it, the Lagos Expressway and burning tires in protest of their inability to have access to their saved money in the banks in the area, man. <laughs> All right, these type of events is going to lead people to go buck wild. They're going to, it's going to happen in America. And once it happens in America, these people ain't going, you know, they're going, they're going to fire bullets, right? The banks are closed. Multitude of people are around. There is no money. They are not dispensing money. Everybody is angry. You see, everywhere is blocked. No cars, no bus can pass through Song Road right now. Georgiou precisely. See the road everywhere is blocked. This is the situation right now. Wala, 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 everywhere. You can see everybody. Everyone is standing still. There is no riot. There is a, it is peaceful now. So 
says scarcity of new narrow notes and rejection of a thousand and five hundred old notes have led to protests and chaos in some parts of Lagos. Okay. Chaos in the streets. Let's get some precepts. Let's get some scriptures. You know, it's a lock here. You know, I don't want to run a minute without getting the precepts. You know, there's a lot going on. This is second Andrew chapter 91. He answered me then and said, measure, measure thou the time diligently in itself. All right. What he used to measure the, the Holy Scriptures, man. All right. Look at prophecies that have come in the past, such as, um, you know, us coming over into Egypt again with ships, which is uh, the triangular slave trade. Uh, you look at um, Ezekiel 37, the Valley of Dry Bones. So you look at prophecies that have come to be passed, and you also look at prophecies that were waiting to happen. Like a very major one is the MOTB, which is the very controversial. You know, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, the destruction of America, which is Babylon the Great. All right? So there's still a few major prophecies left. All right? He answered me then and said, measured out of time diligently in itself. That's right, the deliverance of the elect, the destruction of this place. And when thou see it's part of the science past, which I've told thee before, right? The uh, you know, the Lord sending um, you know, um Elijah again, you know, before he smite the earth with a curse. We believe it's Abba Vivens, apostles and elders waking up, uh, Ezekiel thirty seven, the valley of dry bones, us getting the remembrance back of who we are. Us getting our power back, our, the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai, know who our enemies are, right? Then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we're in a time where the Lord is getting ready to visit this place, man. Okay? When we look up the definition of the verb visit, it's either to, um, it's either to inflict or it could be to someone's advantage. Okay, let's look it up. It says, this is the noun, friendly or, or formal call upon someone. Where the Lord is going to visit the elect. <clears throat> it's going to be in a, you know, friendly manner, if you will. <clears throat> Look at the verb. Excuse me. Look at the verb. It says, "Come to comfort or benefit." Yeah, this is what I meant to get. I meant to get this one. <clears throat> All right. This is what the Lord. This is what the Lord's gonna have. Yahweh Shai, Michael the Archangel. So your yeah, heavenly Father, Yahweh is gonna give His Son Yahweh Shai the green light to come back to comfort. All right, for the benefit of the elect. All right. Now notice it says to visit, to inspect to examine or to afflict but if you're not part of the elect you know the Lord's gonna gonna afflict you when you come man look up the word afflict it says cast down right damage harass torment and that links up with Isaiah 66 man the slain of Yahweh shall, shall be many many people are gonna get cast down and tormented alright and then damaged and destroyed to dash and that reminds me of the scripture in songs to also dash them to pieces All right so let's read that again second Ezra 92 then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time where in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made right he gonna visit this world the comfort to the benefit to the salvation of the elect and to the afflicting the, the, the destruction alright the casting down of the wicked right Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, which to this day, <laughs> you know, my, <clears throat> my man Deontay Wilder, to this day, they're still finding people over there in Turkey, man, from that seven, I believe it was a 7.8, maybe 7.5 earthquake. They're still finding bodies over there, man. I believe the death toll is well over uh, 40,000 and counting. You see? And there's, earth, there's not just earthquakes in Turkey, there's earthquakes all over. Different parts of Australia, different parts of, uh, you know, the, the, the islands, 
you know, the, the Bahamas, different parts of South America, Mexico, Canada, earthquakes in America, Europe. All right. It says in like it says in Luke, Matthew, uh, Mark, diverse places. Right. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in in the world, and these people up there, they're in the uproar because they can't access their cash in the, in, the, in the bank. The money that they have access to is not being accepted. So they're not able to get the things that they need, man. So they're in the uproar, man. They're pissed off. Okay. It says, outbreak of disorder, revolt, commotion. There's an outbreak of disorder going over there in different parts of Nigeria, not just Nigeria, other parts of Africa and different parts of the world. Okay. Now you, ask, now you might ask, well, why? Because the wicked or a real shit. This, this proves that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. This proves that the devil has power on the earth right now. Okay? This is Proverbs 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Why aren't those, you know, why aren't they rejoicing over there in Nigeria? Because nothing they rejoice about, man, because they got wicked-ass rulers over them. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So they're right now, they're in a state of mourning. So let's look up the word, word more means, man. It says to feel or express sorrow, grief, regret, bemoan. Okay? That's what these people are doing. <clears throat> and their way of doing it <clears throat> is these protests. Let's see, where was I? Back in Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people are right because there's wicked rulers on the earth. People are in a state of mourning. Let's look this up in the Good News Translation. This is 2nd Edges 9, the Good News Translation, starting at 1. He answered, consider all, these, consider all these things very carefully. When you see that some of the signs I have told you about have appeared, you will know that the time has come when the Most High will bring judgment on the world he has created. There will be earthquakes, national rebellions, okay? National rebellions. So this is going to be a worldwide thing. People are going to, people are going to rage against the machine. People are going to go up, go up, go up against the governments. They're, they're, okay, and that links up with 2nd interest 15. Back in Second Edges chapter nine, there will be earthquakes, national rebellions, international intrigues, unstable leaders, and confused rulers. When you see these things happening, you will know that they are what the Most High has spoken about since the beginning of creation. Now notice how it says national rebellions, international intrigues, unstable leaders, and confused. Ruler. So that sums up Joe Biden, and that sums up all these fucking sellout puppets who are supposed to be the presidents and the leaders of these different countries and, and nations. There's nothing but a bunch of confused rulers and unstable leaders and puppets for the elites. And the Hobby Shem Yosh is going to destroy these people, man. Right? And these sellouts, they, you know, they sell out so they and their family, they can live a little better than the people at the bottom in their damn country. So of course you're gonna have people getting people are gonna be pissed off. This is what second edges fifteen says, man. Sixteen. Fifteen and sixteen. For there shall be sedition. Sedition is an uproar or coming against the government or those in power. Okay? There shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Just like they tried to break in that bank. We saw the video. Okay. Oh, I believe it was over there in uh, 
I believe it was Sri Lanka, they, they stormed the president's house, his ass had to leave in a boat. You know, these type of things, that they're gonna, people are going to come for these so-called politicians, man. The governor, the mayor, okay? They shall not regard their kings. No, They're not going to regard title, you know, people on TV, people on the radio, people on the Internet trying to tell them what to do. It ain't going to matter, all right, when people are pissed off and they're hungry. All right, and they need to feed their children. You telling them they can't access their money in the bank, okay, or the money that they have, they can't use it to get what they need. People are going to bug out, man, okay? And they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. I mean, they're going to do <coughs> whatever the fuck they want to do, man. Whatever imaginations come to their wicked heart, that's what they're going to do. Now, another thing I want to look at, it says international intrigues, right? So I'll look up the definition of intrigue, just a quick Google search. It says, arouse the curiosity or, or interest of, fascinate. Number two, make secret plans to do something, right? <laughs> What's that sound like? The New World Order. Revelation 13 to 16, there's a, a secret which is which you know the prophets of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai or telling the secret on the rooftop, but there's a secret plan to introduce a new form of currency that they want to put inside of you, which is the rice device, man, which is a physical M A R K. All right, to do something illicit or detrimental to someone. It says the secret planning of something illicit. Illicit or detrimental. All right. So this is very powerful, man. The GNT is very powerful. It says international intrigues. Okay. And so let's look up the uh, online etymology dictionary of intrigue. The verb, it says to trick, to deceive, to cheat. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to be international deceptions. Okay, call loyum la, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. International deception, man. By who? The, the damn devil. It's another key indicator that the wicked is in control of the earth right now, man. But their time is up, and that's why they're getting ready to come down with that great wrath. Okay, yeah, the money that these people got, man, is fucking worthless, man. This is Ezekiel seven and verse nineteen. This is the New Living Translation. They will throw their money in the streets, tossing it out like worthless trash. At the near future, your dollar ain't going to be worth shit. None of these currencies ain't going to be worth nothing, man. People are going to use them for tissue, to burn, you know, as tinder, to make fires. Okay? It will no longer be used to purchase things, and cash is already becoming obsolete. Okay? There's silver and their gold won't save them on that day of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's anger, right? Because you can't buy yourself out of judgment. It will neither satisfy nor feed them for their greedy, excuse me, for their greed can only trip <clears throat> them up. And you can also read that in Isaiah. It says they shall not regard gold or silver, which that is real money. What this devil is doing, he's trying to stockpile all the gold and silver and give you monopoly money, paper money. That's not backed by anything. Right? Wicked are ruling the earth, man. Go back to uh, Twitter. Actually, it's not. Let's see what I can find here. When we set up TikTok... The small town of 
of Boma in Edo State, Nigeria, was thrown into a state of Finada, Finobo, when customers of First Bank came to withdraw money from their various bank accounts, but they were denied access to said money due to the narrow scarcity and the subsequent hoarding of this NERA by the banks. I don't know how this is going to end today, but I have to leave here now because I no want Wahala. Thank you. Nigeria protests over shortage of cash. Protests have erupted across Nigeria at the central bank after it declared all currency notes no longer legal tender. This is because commercial banks, businesses, bus drivers are not accepting old Naira notes as currency at all anymore. But why is this all happening? Well, it seemed like the central bank felt like they were losing control. Particularly, they say there is a problem with the population hoarding banknotes with over 85% of the currency outside of the bank. They are saying the quiet part out loud now. Look at this quote. This will further rein in the currency outside the banking system into the banking system, thereby making monetary policy more efficacious. Let me translate. This is them taking money out of your hands so they can control how much money that you have. Because for some reason, the government doesn't think that you can be trusted with your own money. This is why more and more Nigerians have been buying Bitcoin. They are opting out of the government-controlled money and putting their financial future into a hard, decentralized asset. What is happening today in Nigeria with these protests is what happens when you give central bankers too much power. Opt out, buy Bitcoin, follow Bitcoin market. And the same thing is going to happen in America too. Bitcoin ain't gonna be able to save you. You know, Bitcoin is just a fucking numbers in the system. Pretty soon that's gonna be put on the, uh, the chip, man, the rice device. You know, but with that, man, I pray this has been uh, edifying and foreign, informative. You know, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Ahawa by Hashem, Yahushad by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.